Denver, Colorado. Should you move to Denver? With any city, there are pros and cons. So that's today's topic. Hi, I'm Jill Uplager with Denver Real Estate at Remax Edge in Littleton, Colorado. As I was saying, there are pros and cons to living anywhere. So today I'll take you through the pros and cons of living in Denver, Colorado. And let's start with the pros. Reason number one to live in Colorado. Denver is a young city. Over 40% of the population is under the age of 30. And another 20% is 30 to 44 years old. So approximately 60% of the population is under the age of 45. But don't be fooled because the rest of us that are over that age are young at heart, which leads to reason number two. Year-round activities. Denver is a very health conscious city. Many neighborhoods have a park close by or trails throughout the neighborhood. Also, the Rocky Mountains aren't that far away. So if you would like to go skiing in the winter or mountain biking in the summer, there is always something to do in Colorado. Reason number three. So let's talk about the weather. There are over 250 days of sunshine, which I just love. I have seen the most beautiful sunrises and sunsets. As well, I think I've seen more rainbows here than anywhere else except maybe Hawaii. And when it snows, the snow does not stick around. As well, there are four seasons, which many people love. Reason number four, foodies and craft brewery junkies, this is your place. Did you know that Zagat ranked Denver as its fourth most exciting food city in the U.S.? And if you love craft beer, there are over 400 craft breweries in Colorado with 150 of them in the Denver area. Now that I have covered some of the pros of living here, let me tell you about some of the cons. Con number one, traffic. You know, it's not as bad as some of the major cities that I've been to, but with each year, more and more people are moving to Denver and last year there was approximately 40,000 people that moved to Denver. So as you can imagine, the roads have not necessarily kept up with the population growth. So not only is there traffic, but there is also a lot of road construction. So pretty much from 6 a.m. until 9 a.m. and again, 3 p.m. till 7 p.m., you can expect some major traffic jams throughout the city. And then if you plan on going to the uh, mountains for the weekend, be prepared because if you are going on a weekend day, you will pretty much expect to spend at least an hour longer on your trip each way than if you were able to go during the week. Another con, public transportation. In Denver, public transportation is not to the level that you would find in a major city. We have spent time and money on expanding the rail system and it's getting better, but still there is work to do. Next is cost of living. Over the past five years, Denver has seen a great population growth as well as cost of living and housing prices. Now there are still some great areas that you can find really good prices in housing and you will want to find a realtor that can help you to find those great deals. Con number four, extreme weather. There can sometimes be a shift in temperature by 50 degrees in one day. I have left my house in the morning wearing short sleeves and by the afternoon it's snowing and I didn't take a coat. So just beware and make sure that you carry a light coat or sweater in your car. Also, we do get some windy days in Denver. The winds come off of the foothills of the Rocky Mountains and can sometimes be 70 miles an hour. The other thing is hailstorms. So just beware 
that there is some extreme weather in Denver, Colorado. There is one more topic that I would like to touch on, and that is the altitude in Mile High, Denver, Colorado. As a con, the altitude can really cause altitude sickness. So even though you might think it's a novel idea when you see oxygen being sold at drugstores or in gift stores, it really does help drink a lot of water and that will also help to counteract altitude sickness. As a pro, the altitude is great for athletes in training. Athletes that train at a higher altitude with less oxygen do become much stronger athletes. To me, the pros outweigh the cons. Denver is a wonderful place to live and with the population growth that we've seen in the last five years, it's apparent that many other people agree with me as well. If you have any questions about Denver living, please reach out to me. Again, my name is Jill Uplager with Denver Real Estate at Remax Edge in Littleton, Colorado. Look for new videos that will be uploaded every Thursday. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you'll get notifications and won't miss a thing. Thank you again for watching.